lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Chloe, I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights, and I'm thrilled that you're joining me for today's video. However, if you are one of those new people, please do click that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're alerted to all of my new and upcoming videos. There are still some more advent calendar unboxings to come, you will be very happy to hear. Also head over to my Instagram, give me a little follow, come say hey, connect with me over on the gram, because there's quite a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you don't get to see here on YouTube. Today's advent calendar unboxing guys is a super luxe one, probably the most luxe that I have done this year, if not ever. That's a pretty big statement, right? Today we are unboxing the Harrods Beauty Advent Calendar, which is Lux, 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 right? It is a £250 advent calendar worth over £600. So I'm trying to think, have I opened any others this year that have been £250? I know like Cult Beauty was just under £200. Like there's been a couple of like highly priced ones, very highly priced ones. This, however, was my birthday present from my husband. So fortunately, this one has not cost me anything. I mean, it's cost my husband, but you know, he gets major husband brownie points for this one. Um, as I said, guys, this is Lux to the max. So whereas we've had some of the other advent calendars this year, which have been around the same value point of, you know, five, 600 pounds in value, this one is over 600. And the type of brands I'm expecting to find in here will be that really top class premium brand that you would associate with finding only in Harrods Beauty Hall. So guys, let's dive right into the unboxing and see what's inside and if it is worth the 250 smackaroonies. Okay, now opening up, it's got really, really cute little pull drawers like this. It's a very sturdy advent calendar. The boxes are made of the same cardboard as the outside. I always like to talk about the packaging because I think especially with the premium ones where you spend a lot of money on them, you want to know what the inside looks like, what it's made of, and if it would possibly be reusable. And this one definitely would be. Should also point out that it is a 25 draw calendar. I know that some of the ones we've done this year have been kind of 12 days or 24 days and those are absolutely fine. This one, you get a special treat on Christmas day too, which I absolutely love. But yeah, I love the design. I think it's super festive and I'm excited to see what's inside. So let's have a look behind drawer number one. Okay guys, so drawer number one. Oh, and this, I like this. So this is what the inside of all of the drawers looks like. They come in a little drawstring bag inside of the box. That is something we haven't seen in any other calendar this year. Some have had like a little gift wrap, tissue paper, shredded tissue paper. None have had their own little drawstring bag and all of them I'm guessing will have the same and are branded with Harrods. So on the inside, we then have tissue paper too. So dropping them. Full size, uh, full size, <laughs> four points to Harrod for the packaging overall of the calendar and the individual ones. Oh my goodness, day number one is an absolute corker guys. We have got one of the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is in the shade Mogul. This is the most perfect, beautiful muted pink. This is very, very similar to what I'm wearing today actually. Um, I also like that it's Demi Matte so it won't be too matte. I'm not always fussed about a fully matte lip. So this is a nice in between and it is a full size. Absolutely absolutely flipping love that. Number two now. Okay, and in here we've got some of the Galan. This is the, I don't know how you say this, Ab Abiel Royale. It's basically like um, a youth oil. This is a five mil and it looks like this, but I have used this before kind of like as a serum oil before I go to bed and it is just a really nice nourishing and moisturizing oil. I think it's supposed to be best for anti-aging, but the fact that you get such a nice size, I think if this was in any other calendar, it'd be like a one or two mil. So I quite like that too. Now we've got number three. Okay, now the only thing that I would say that is the drawback of this calendar, as lovely as the packaging is behind each one, I've now got a product that I don't know very much about. There's no card, there's like, nothing printed on the inside of the boxes so you can't like learn about the product or specifically what the brand is and I'm really struggling to read I mean this candle smells beautiful um it says it's Fleur Narcotique I don't know if that is the brand or the scent um X Nilo I mean, it smells beautiful. It's like a, a men's aftershave that women would love if that makes sense as a candle. So definitely my kind of thing. I'm gonna actually burn this ASAP because it smells beautiful. But I would love to know a little bit more about the brand and the scent itself. So maybe for next year, Harrods will take that on board. Okay, now we've got number four. Okay, now in here we have got some of the Pen Halligans. This is the Halfetti Eau de Parfum. Very nice perfume brand. Oh, and how cute is that? That's beautiful, I love that. Let's have a little whiff. It's got one of those cute little stoppers in the top. I don't wanna spill it. 
I think that that's a men's aftershave. I definitely don't think that that is women's. It smells very male orientated, so my husband will enjoy that. Um, again, it would be really nice to have some info on this. Like, is it actually a man's? Because I could be saying that and it is like a, just a really musky women's scent, but I'm assuming it's a man's. Okay, now we've got number five. Okay, and in here, guys, we have got some of the 111 skin. These are the Celestial Black Diamond Eye Masks. I've used these before. I really love them. They're a single use eye mask, which are really, really great. I love 111 skin. I said that really fast, didn't I? 111. Uh, I love 111 skin. I'm currently using their eye cream, which I've had in a couple of calendars this year and is actually really, really nice. Um, these are just a lovely pamper tree. I'm a sucker for a good sheet mask anyway. So these um, basically help with anti-puffing, um, getting rid of fine lines and wrinkles. So they're just a great everyday under eye mask. And I really love this brand. So very happy to find this in here. Okay, number six now, folks. Okay, a really... Oh, you can hear the paper crackling in the background. A lovely another brand here is Aromatherapy Associates. This is the City Serenity Bath and Shower Oil. Now, I've had a lot of the bath and shower oils this year in calendars from Aromatherapy Associates. Now, that literally is green and it smells like a forest. Like, that's what it smells like. A nice fresh forest, but definitely a forest. Um, so I love the fact that I've got another one of these. If you buy the gift sets from Aromatherapy Associates at Christmas, they can be quite pricey. So it's been nice to stock up in my calendars this year. I've got a nice little um, shower shelf that is now fully stocked with these. And I do really like them because they just feel super luxurious and they smell great in the shower. Okay, number seven now. Okay, we've got some of the Becca Skin Love. This is the Brighton and Blur Primer. Now, this is a little bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. This is only a six mil. I would have liked and expected to find a bigger size from this. Now, I don't mind smaller products um, like we had with the Galan, um, a five mil of the oil, but that's quite a pricey skincare product. This um, isn't as expensive. It's also more of a makeup product, so I would have hoped to find a bigger size, but we'll shelf that for now. This is actually a really lovely primer type product that you can use every day, and I love the Becca things. Um, their Champagne Pop, their Opal Highlighter, is what I'm wearing today and I use it every day religiously so never ever sad to find Becca in things especially in my advent calendars but yeah the size is a little bit disappointing moving on to number eight now okay we've got not one but two we've got some of the Decorte AQ Meliori Melioriority blah 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 <laughs> uh, we've got the intensive regenerating eye cream and intensive regenerating multi cream now these are both a two mil I'm guessing this is a premium skincare brand never heard of them we'll be very excited to try them out because I have been stocked up with some amazing skincare products in my calendar unboxings this year my skincare basket of things to try is overflowing now these will be going in there but yeah I mean, I'm guessing that's premium, so this will be going on my face in due course. Now we're on number nine, guys. Okay, I'm super happy. We have got some of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This, guys, is one of my staples. It's in dim light. I've got this in full size, and I use it religiously. Like, as much as I use my Becca highlighter, I also use this because I just literally put this all over my face when I finish my makeup, and it just kind of helps diffuse the way light sits on the face, so it makes your face look really radiant and healthy. Um, this is a 1.3 gram, so it's like like the travel size so it is perfect for keeping in your handbag now I don't need to worry about taking the huge one out with me because it was pricey the full size and I'm always a bit worried that I'm gonna like knock my handbag and break it so I'm very very happy for the top up number 10 now guys well this looks exciting it is a super heavy glass bottle and this is the Sensei absolute silk cream um, now there is something that goes with this one thankfully so this looks like I mean, it's got like a full diagram of how you use it, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm guessing this is like an everyday type moisturizer product. It smells really nice and it's got that kind of like milky texture that makes me think that it is like, I've tried some silk creams before, so they tend to work better um, if you have oily skin. I'm assuming this does the same because they don't have too much oil in them, so they sit better on the skin. So if that is the case, I will quite happily get this on my face. Uh, this is a 15 mil. Um, 15 mil it must be full size right because some of the skincare products i've tried and bought in full size that are um like silky creams are this size so and it is really heavy okay now we're on number 11. never let it be said that you need big things to make an impact or small things come in big things come in small packages i don't know what the saying is anyway here we've got some of the laura mercier this is the amethyst um caviar stick eye color i love the laura mercier products their eye sticks are lovely if you like something that is really quick and easy to put on your eyelids gives you a little pop of color and a metallic finish you will love these this is the travel size so again a great brand and i'm loving that there is some nice makeup some nice skincare and there's been a candle so far loving the variation in this calendar now we're on number 12 guys hello 
we have got some of the Dr. Barbara Sturm. These are the Sun Drops. So these are the SPF 50. Absolutely loving these products. Again, I've had a couple of products from Dr. Barbara Sturm. Have started using one of the day type creams recently. Was really impressed with it. And I'm about to try the eye cream when I finish the other one that I'm using. This one basically says, with a balanced combination of UVA and UVB filters, the Sun Drops offer intensive sun protection. So underneath your makeup you should every day have SPF guys if you don't do that you need to because even when it's cloudy in winter you can get affected this is a 10 mil so it'll keep me nicely topped up and protected during the day moving on to number 13 now okay guys so in here we've got some of the Omravitska blue diamond concentrate now I haven't actually tried this but it's been one of the things I've been eyeing up this past year of things to try because I do like Omravitska some of their products are amazing hint hint queen of hungry mist you must try um, but I haven't tried this so I'm very excited to see how it works on my skin um it basically says that it will let's have a quick read oh promote and prolong healthy life and protect the dna of skin cells so it basically makes skin softer and more silky and it smooths the complexion so that's everything i would want in a concentrate or serum type product again this will be going in my basket of skincare products to try now we're on number 14 okay guys in here we have got some of the augustinus Bader, the rich cream i had a smaller version of this in one of my other calendars and i was really looking forward to trying it and then my mum pinched it Yes, she does that quite a lot. Um, this is a 15 mil. Now this is one of the most expensive skincare products I've seen in a while. When I looked at the full, full, full size, full price of it on a website recently, I was like, that's crazy. Um, however, that makes me really excited to try it. It's an everyday cream. It's basically going to help skin renew itself. Um, keep more moisture in the skin, just be a great everyday day cream. It is a cult status product, so everybody raves about this. I think there's loads of celebs who use it. I love the fact that there is such a great size in this calendar. Again, this is the sort of thing I associate with this calendar, and I am impressed. Number 15 now, guys. Okay, and here we've got some of the BioEffect EGF Serum. Now, somebody who watched one of my videos where I also got this, then commented and told me how amazing this product was, because I was a bit like, this is really small, like surely this isn't like a good thing. When they told me I looked at it and this is an amazing serum it's great for renewing the skin anti-aging if you have like sensitive skin that you need to smooth out even skin tones it's one of those amazing products that does so so much and it is pricey the full size is pricey guys so I love the fact that there's a little bit of this in here and it just overall improves the appearance of the skin no matter what your skin concern is you'll be able to enjoy this so again a lovely premium skin screw I need a coffee. Skincare brand in this calendar. Now we're on number 16. Love this. We have got the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the clear brow gel. This is the travel size. Cannot beat this. One of my favorite brands. I am loving their Christmas collection this year. This is a 2.5 mil. So you are going to be able to kind of shape and like create a really nice curve and natural curve to your brows. Let's not talk about mine. I get a lot of comments about how bad my eyebrows are on my videos, which makes me very sad, but I can't help it, guys. I had children. My eyebrows literally stopped growing. All the hair fell out. Like, I do my best, guys. I do my best. Number 17, again, another brand I love and a product that I've used a lot before. This is the Black Tea Kombucha. I never know how you say that. Uh, this is a facial treatment essence. It's basically sits in between a cleanser and a toner. It is going to just, it's anti-pollution, it's anti-aging. So it's going to just basically perk up the skin. It helps to target like fine lines and wrinkles. It's gonna help skin to um, return to a normal pH balance after you've used it. It is literally that product that you would use instead of a toner, maybe as well as if you were really into that type of skincare and guys it's a 50 mil so I've got no complaints about this calendar other than the fact that they need some product info in there. Now we're on 18. Okay, and here we've got some of the Valmont Moisturizing IC Gel. My mum swears by this. She says it's amazing. It's like a cream type gel. It feels very watery when you apply it under the eye, but if you pop it on, with your ring finger, just dab around the eye, the socket, and around your eyelid. You will literally just feel like you've put water on your face, but it actually, my mum says, has really helped like tighten the area and just approve, approve, improve its overall like smoothness appearance. So I'm really excited to give this a go myself, actually. This is a five mil. Um, have heard great things about this from other people as well. So if you're looking for premium skincare, this calendar is gonna give you a thumbs up. Number 19 now. Okay, in here we've got some of the NARS. This is the Pro Prime, this is their, um, eyeshadow base that does not allow your eyeshadow to move it is like a glue for eyeshadow it's really good have used this before but not for a while this is a 2.8 gram it's one of those versatile makeup products that everyone can enjoy 
choice so it's not color specific you literally put it on as your eyeshadow base and it stops eyeshadow smudging or going anywhere and it stops it creasing by the end of the day so if you have that as a problem you'll really like this now we are on drawer 20 okay we've got some of the dr dennis gross this is the alpha beta ultra gentle daily peel now there's a couple of treatments in here if this i think is this the ultra sensitive one it's the ultra gentle one so basically i use the normal one of these it's a great way of doing a facial peel at home and the the kind of thing with a facial peel is that it takes everything off it gets rid of that dead layer of top skin that's just sometimes won't br but brudge budge and clogs pores so this actually helps to get rid of it and usually like a peel is something you would have a facial for but the dr dennis gross products are great for doing it at home you've got a couple in there which is fab because you can get you shouldn't really do more than one a week at most so this will keep you topped up for almost a month maybe a month or longer so love finding this in here Okay, now we've got number 21. Hello, bye Terry. We have got some of the Balm de Rose. This is their lip care product. Now, I religiously use the pot version of their Balm de Rose. It is amazing. This is like the lip balm that goes on in like a wand type product. Um, 2.3 gram, that may be full size. It's definitely more of a travel size. I don't know if that's full size, but it's big enough. It's gonna keep in your handbag, keep your um, lips nicely nourished throughout the day. If you ever have dry lips in the winter and you want a premium product to help, then this would be the sort of thing I would recommend for you um, if you like budget friendly lip balms that's totally cool but if you've bought this calendar you'll be like yay an everyday product I can keep in my handbag and it's premium who doesn't love by Terry number 22 now guys oh my goodness this calendar gets better and better okay we've got the Foreo Luna play this is one of the minis I have got the Foreo UFO at the moment I use it all the time it's like um it's like an app like it works with an app. Your app tells it how to work on your skin and you give yourself like a salon like type facial. It's got light, it's got movement. Oh, it's so good. I'll link down below to my review of it because it is amazing. It's pricey, but oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite types of skincare tools to use. It's so, so cool. Anyway, this is the mini. This will help your cleansing process. You just put your normal cleanser on it when you are taking your makeup off and just move in circular motions around the skin and it will just help to lift even more of the daily dirt and debris. Cannot beat Foreo and I love that that is in here. Now we've got number 23. Oh, lovely. We've got some of the Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. I think that this is, well, it's 28 grams. I'm not sure if that's full size, but it's definitely a good size hair mask. Now, Living Proof do amazingly um, fantastic hair products. I know that that was like a double adjective there, but the thing is, their hair care products work like skincare for your hair. Like it targets specific concerns with your hair, which is why I really like the range. So if I feel like the coloring on my hair is, and I'm at the over-processed stage, and I've got too much bleach on, I know I can go there and find the right products if my hair is feeling really like lifeless I can go there and get specific products they are really really good for targeted hair care concerns and this restore mask treatment will be great for nurturing hair back to health if you have dry ends like I do just a kind of twice weekly use of something like this will help to perk it up no end and it's the sort of thing that you can pamper with in December when you're opening your calendar having a bath in the evening glass of wine little hair masks some of the eye masks that we've had in here you'll be good to go 24 Christmas Eve okay we've got some of the Byredo, is that how you say it? Burrito, Byredo, Black Saffron Hand Cream. This is a 30 mil. Now, I have got some of the non-wash hand wash from Byredo, which I got in another calendar. And oh my gosh, guys, it's like a really posh hand sanitizer, but it is like washing your hands without water. It is so good. So I'm gonna really enjoy having the matching hand creams to go with it in my handbag. Because I do always have to carry hand cream, my knuckles especially are so dry. As soon as it gets cold outside, my knuckles literally just go so dry, they crack, they bleed, it's horrible. I don't have any other problem with my hands at any other time of year. I use a lot of hand cream throughout just in case, but no matter what I do in winter, it's really, really difficult. So I can never get enough hand cream. And I love this brand. They're so, so nice. Very Instagrammable too. So very happy with that. Now we're on to Christmas day, the final draw. I'm very excited and I have high hopes for this. Okay, so in here we've got some of the Natura Beast. This is the Diamond Extreme Eye Cream. It's a four mil. Now I have just double checked because I was like, oh, I've not heard of this. The full size is a 25 mil. We've got a four mil. So we've got like a fifth of that nearly. And it is 171 pounds at full size. So this is quite a pricey eye product. Um, I'm quite pleased with that, I must admit. However, I'm not gonna lie, I would have liked to find this behind one of the other doors. I think something like the Foreo would have maybe been a better like final day. But overall, this is a very premium skincare brand, so no complaints about the actual product. Really excited to give that a whirl. Okay guys, there we have it. That is the Harrods Advent Calendar for 2019. What do you think? So my thoughts are this. Guys, for 250 pounds, it's pricey, but yes, it is well worth it. I think when we have 
have been unboxing some of those premium calendars this year. This one is definitely up there. There were no disappointments with the brands in there. All of the brands are very, very premium, so I like that. I was a little bit disappointed with like the Becca size um, because I just thought for this calendar and for that brand, they could have put a slightly bigger size in. The only other bugbear I had was the fact that there's no product information on a lot of the things. Oh, and then I also didn't like the final day. I really like the look of that eye cream, but I would have preferred to find that in another day and something a bit more spectacular on the last day, especially for Harrods. But other than that, I love this calendar. You know, my standout products would definitely be the um, the Huda full size liquid lipstick. That color is beautiful. The Hourglass powder, I absolutely love that. The Foreo, so many amazing products in there. I definitely cannot fault this calendar at all. And yes, guys, I do think it's worth 250 pounds. Guys, I will link below to where you can pick this up if it's still in stock. It was very, very on the last like limit when my husband bought it. Um, he had to get one um, couriered over to his work in London to be able to get it. Um, but I'll link below just in case where you can shop it if it's still available. If you do treat yourself to a luxe calendar this year, you definitely would not be disappointed with this one. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this calendar. Do you think it is worth the money? Is it the sort of thing that you will be dreaming of for next year maybe? And what are the standout products? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So there we have it. That is all done and dusted. Harrods Advent Calendar Unboxed for 2019. Guys, as I mentioned at the start of the video, please do click that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you're alerted to all of my future and upcoming advent calendar unboxing videos also head over to my instagram give me a little follow there too as i said i love to connect with you guys over there i will also link below to the playlist for all of this year's advent calendar unboxings if you fancy a binge watch of all of the others i've done there's quite a few in there and still some more to come too all that's left for me to do now is say goodbye and thank you so much for watching today's video i do hope you've enjoyed it see you very soon for the next one